Hello guys. Yesterday I was in um, the city centre and while I was there I saw and went into the Coventry Police Museum. Now this is a temporary museum which is only going to last um, for a few more months. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to close down. It was originally set up um, in Coventry just as part of the official UK City of Culture celebrations. It's not meant to be a permanent um, exhibit. It was because people from all over the country were meant to come to my city. Obviously Covid's changed everything and as part of that um, they decided to have an exhibit of you know Coventry related police um, memorabilia from the past. Okay now I'll be honest with you um, I've just shown you the outside, you've just seen the outside of the museum, I am going to go inside, well I actually went inside yesterday and I'm going to show you after me talking um, what is inside the museum. I'm going to be honest with you, I was generally disappointed, there weren't, wasn't very much in there in my opinion, there weren't many exhibits, I thought maybe they might have shown you some, you know, I don't know, advanced police radios, advanced police telephones, or I don't know, anything that might be somewhat, um, you know, but to me it seemed to be all very basic and very simplistic. You saw some old truncheons, I think an old truncheon, you saw some um, old handcuffs. I mean, I suppose you saw the sort of things that police men on the street would have in the past, okay? And um, you didn't, they didn't show any replica guns or anything, so I don't think maybe they have them over here much in you know my city so they just showed you basically like the hats of the past you know well or rather the helmets i should call them um you'll notice one of the um police hats and it does look like a hat looks like an old a, a bowler hat that is traditionally worn by women in the police force so women tend to wear what looks like a bowler hat and men wear a helmet um, and traditionally, um, as I said, there wasn't much in there in my opinion, so you see it very, very quickly, okay? They also showed you a replica of a death mask, and now I had to look this up because I thought, what are they talking about? Um, and this is basically, I believe, um, it showed whenever somebody died or something like that in the past they would create um what they called a death mask which would be some sort of um you know thing that they would create based on the face of the person so that they could then um like a copy of the person's face if you like of the person who died so that then they especially if it was involved in some sort of obvious crime or something maybe not if it was they considered straight away it was natural causes i don't know i do not know the past entirely but if it was to do obviously crime related apparently they created a death mask or something like that and um for some reason and that's basically like a copy of the person's face okay now they do actually did actually have the original of this person i'm going to explain in a moment and this is apparently a death mask that, that was created years ago there was a death mask created years ago of the last woman that was hanged in coventry before obviously you know hanging was banned in britain okay we don't have a death penalty over here anymore we used to do but not anymore um for some gruesome reason they decided to exhibit this but rather than exhibit the actual mask they actually did a copy of it a computerized copy of it with using 3d printing technology and they've shown an exhibit of the, the copy of the death mask which was a copy of the woman face who was hanged for murder or something like that anyway that's the only really gruesome part of this i can i could tell really generally um pretty much um but apart from that as i said i just didn't think there was enough there you know um maybe i was just expecting more i probably didn't expect much because it was only a small shop i mean it used it's a real shop in town but obviously they've converted into what they call a museum but in reality it's a shop so when this all finishes and the city of culture celebrations is completely over it will probably close down and be taken over by i don't know some selling food probably or something i don't know or maybe clothes okay anyway um enough talking from me this is the temporary 
Coventry Police Museum, and there is there are more permanent um, West Midlands Police um, Museums in I believe in Birmingham is the main one. Um, but they created a temporary one, as I said, for this year and last year as part of the UK City of Culture celebrations, as my city is officially the UK City of Culture at the moment. It was actually officially the um, City of Culture last year, um, 2021, but the celebration has been carried on over to this year due to COVID. Okay, so anyway, enough of me. I'm now going to show you the rest of what I of the footage that I took yesterday of what of what hap what is actually inside the museum and this is all of it you know there's I couldn't see anything else truthfully really so um you know I expected more there wasn't very much but it is what it is and as I said it also contains um some what look like toy models of police cars of the past okay um you know, I say toy models, I mean, they're probably not meant to be toys, they're meant to be exhibits, but they look like the sort of thing you might have had if it was a kid's toy. So I don't know if these are actually kid's toys, I, I just looked in there very quickly and filmed it very quickly and went out. I didn't spend too much time truthfully reading the descriptions of what the um, exhibits were meant to be. I know in the past you could buy, for example, um, toys of police cars and things for children you know when kids used to play with toys a lot more than they do these days um, so I don't know if it was a toy or if it was um, somebody made a model specially for um, this exhibit I don't know this exhibition so anyway this is um, a police exhibition um, as part of the UK City of Culture where they've created um, you know a Police Coventry Police Museum, which will close down once the celebrations end. Okay, so now bye from me, but don't stop watching. And now you're going to see a lot of, um, you know, footage with no commentary whatsoever because it's obvious. Also, in in the description, I provided a link to a news article from um, the local newspaper. For my city which also discusses this and tells you more about it okay and will provide probably better descriptions than i could okay so thanks for watching bye but don't stop watching